Urban legends and terrifying myths of all kinds seem to surface from all around the world as reports of strange, supernatural, paranormal and extraterrestrial accounts spread through a town or region like wildfire. Some of these urban legends tend to never leave the region in which they first began, whereas others might make national headlines all around the world in their appearance. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be covering six terrifying urban legends that come from the country of France and their strange origins. The Cusack Cover-Up Though there are a tremendous amount of reported cases of eyewitness accounts of unidentified flying objects, it is very rare for eyewitnesses to report a direct sighting of an alien presence or extraterrestrial life form seen in clear detail during the event. This appears to not be the case when analysing the close encounters of the Commune of Cusack, located in France. On the 19th of August, back in 1967, Two children, a 13-year-old boy and his 9-year-old sister, ran to the police and alerted them to a strange sighting. They claimed that, as they were watching the cows in a nearby field, they noticed that there appeared to be four small people that were completely covered in a weird, dark material and stood at roughly 47 inches tall. At first, they were not afraid of these strange people and originally thought it was other children around their age but began panicking when they noticed these strange beings suddenly begin to rise in the air and float up towards a metal disc-like object floating above them that was no more than roughly 15 feet in diameter. The officers didn't know what to make of the kid's story, but noticed that the children appeared to be truly fearful as they continued to describe the scene in vast detail. Quickly, the officers followed the children to the sighting and noticed that there appeared to be a strange sulfur smell in the air near where the object was seen to have been hovering and that a large patch of dried grass had suddenly appeared in the area. After the police filed the report of the incident, the French government stepped in and conducted their own private investigations of the event and have yet to release any gathered information or investigation details. As time went on, the story died down and the government felt compelled to keep all gathered details of the investigation a secret and refused to acknowledge the case's existence up until March of 2007, when the French government released hundreds of declassified UFO investigations on their government website over 40 years after the event. Meetings in the Catacombs Paris is far more than just a city of love and, for those that are oblivious to its history, holds a much darker past and an even more terrifying nature. Underneath the city of Paris are long tunnels and catacombs known as the Catacombs of Paris, and if you are looking to travel there someday, then it is important for you to understand this darker past to prevent you from becoming lost in the unending tunnels and the strange phenomena that take place in its tunnels. Back in 1786, it became obvious to government officials and residents of the city that the cemeteries were becoming massively overcrowded, of which proved to be a huge issue for both religious groups and public health. Those who found themselves having to handle the deceased were unable to perform proper burial rites, of which angered the local religions as well as creating an issue of public health with the spreading of disease. These problems led to the creation of the catacombs, which saw massive tunnels and rooms carved out from underneath the city to house the bones of the deceased and to make room as a vast and unending cemetery. What is incredibly unsettling about this is the fact that the bones were often placed as a display and in rows against the walls of the tunnel that seemed to go on nearly forever. It is estimated that the bones of roughly 6 million people are stored down in the catacombs, which is a number that continues to grow as new rooms, tunnels and areas are continually discovered each day in the underground cemetery. Additionally, seen as one of the most notorious scandals and claims of the modern era, many people believe that the catacombs are used by satanic cults and other secret organisations that work to perform evil rituals in the depths of the catacombs. Supposed members of these cults range from random civilians to business owners and even quite possibly government officials looking to fulfil darker desires. It is quite common for the bones in the tunnels to go missing 
which has led those who are familiar with the areas to believe that the human remains are being used as potential sacrifice or items for these underground cults. Given the evidence of clandestine criminal operations along with the lack of resources to locate hidden rooms, it could very well be within the realm of possibility that this occurs. Sightings of Few Follet Though the common name for the Few Follet around the world is that of the Will-O-Wisps, sightings of such floating balls of light emanating from different areas across the country have often been a popular urban legend stretching centuries back through time. Many of those out in the French countryside have claimed to see wandering faux fillets that appear to be nothing more than bright balls of light hovering and moving throughout the less inhabited regions of the country. Legends surrounding the faux fillet believe them to be spirits sent back to earth to finish a penance of which they have received but instead commit mischievous acts and perpetrate attacks against people who get too close to them. Some claim that the faux fillet can suck the blood from children that are found to wander too close to them, with some even believing that the faux fillet are the souls of children themselves. The Beasts of Gevaudan Between the years of 1764 and 1767, a small province located in south-central France, the province of Gévaudan, soon became the hunting grounds of a terrifying new beast that had not yet been known to the region. This strange beast was described as a man-eating wolf, roughly the size of a fully grown cow and capable of devouring people as they ran. Their heads were described as being dog-shaped in appearance, with small ears, a large chest and long mouth and snout that was capable of holding teeth the size of daggers. Though such a creature might sound completely fabricated in nature, historians would later confirm the creature as having once truly existed, with accounts on the attacks detailing more than 210 victims, with bodies being found with throats torn out and bodies half-eaten, and then later a fully stuffed beast being found on display in a number of artistic representations. This would then lead the French government to intervene, sending a number of troops into the region to battle and eradicate the breed of wolves from existence, a battle that would continue for a year before it became apparent that the troops would need trained wolf hunters to complete their task. This would lead the troops to hire a number of professional wolf hunters to help track down the wolves to be eradicated. The last of the attacks would end in 1767 with the entire lot of the beasts having been completely erased from the region. Though no one is entirely aware of where such a breed came from, others believe that the monsters could have been far more supernatural in nature given many of the witness testimonies of the time. The Baker and the Barber When travelling through France, if you have ever heard a terrifying tale of a baker and a barber working together to cook people into pies to be served to the rich, then you might have originally assumed that it was nothing more than an old horror story devised to frighten tourists. The truth is, the story of the baker and the barber was once a real-life account that led to one of the most gruesome crimes ever committed in the country. In 1800, the chief of police of Paris, known as Joseph Fouche, reported a series of disappearances that would later be discovered as the work of a barber on Rue de la Harpe, luring in a number of tourists and residents to be sold to a nearby baker that would use the bodies to cook human meat pies that became a wealthy luxury of the hidden rich. This story would later serve as the inspiration for the story of Sweeney Todd and the baker accomplice. The Lou Carcot Taken from the Gascon folklore is that of the creature known as the Lucalcol. According to the accounts of the folklore, the Lucalcol is described as being a mixture of a snail and a serpent the size of a calf. The beast is believed to carry on its back a massive shell covered with tentacles that can dig through the ground and stretch for miles. Many of the Gascon folklore surrounding the creature claimed that the creature lives amongst the underground caverns in southwest France waiting for prey to stumble across its long, hairy, slime-covered tentacles to be pulled miles down into the underground caverns and swallowed whole by the creature. Though many believe the creature to have been nothing more than a myth, there are still stories being told today that warn tourists and children to watch out for this Lucarco in fear that it should ever return.
But what do you all think of these strange and unexplainable urban legends found all across the country of France? Be sure to let us know in the comments down below and be sure to share your answers and questions about the video to help grow our community and share insightful comments about the nature of these topics. Hopefully, as we continue to grow our community, we will one day be able to solve these unexplainable mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.